are doing everything they can to shut our practice down and deny thousands of women critical reproductive health care. They prisoned me in a maternity hospital for four weeks. They sentenced me to 20 years in prison. What if you could stop a terrible injustice from happening in one woman's life? What if you could change the lives, the future, the world for millions of women across the globe? Every day, every day, every day, governments all over the world, including the United States, deny millions of women their fundamental reproductive rights. După care am fost internată în spital, a venit polițistul să mă întreabă ce s-a întâmplat și am fost dusă în izolatorul din, din glodieni. Am fost dusă cu polițistul, cu pistolul de urma mea, așa în stare cum eram, eu nu, pe, nu eram încă în putere. Cine mi-a făcut avort criminal, e așa spunea, că e făcut avort criminal. Era într-un subsol cu uși de fier, cu lanțuri la uși și într-o cameră unde nu puteai să respiri, nu era aer. Veneau la mine, nici mâncare nu vreau să-mi dea, să dea. Spuneau că după ce, ce ce mi s-a întâmplat, ceea ce am făcut, îi mă învinuiau că am născut și mi-au omorât proprii copii. Dus la judecătorii, judecătorii din Glodeni și am fost condamnată la 20 de ani de închisoare. Și pentru mine atunci era tot sfârșit. Îmi părea că am ajuns la sfârșitul zilor mele. Nu credeam că voi mai putea să rezist mai departe. They kept me in the hospital as a prisoner because I didn't have the enough money. The detention room is next to the toilet. We are 60 women. In one bed, we are sleeping four women. Sometimes we sleep down in the floor. The children were there. Nobody take care of them. No water for washing the children. When my kid get, get sick, they don't take care of the kid. When I cry for help, they, stay, they tell me that you pay your bill and go outside and take care of yourself on your own. The worst night is when I spent in the hospital, my kids are spending alone in the house. Nobody to take care of them. My children were suffering because I can't come out to help them when they are in need. I was feeling very bad, feeling lonely. I was as if I'm in prison. We practice in the state of Kansas where our friend, Dr. George Tiller, who was an abortion provider in Wichita, Kansas, was brutally murdered by an abortion activist. Since that time, it has been nerve wracking to provide full range of obstetrical care, not only from a security aspect, also from a legislative aspect. You never know when something is gonna pass that will make it so that you cannot provide the care to women that they desperately need. I do not feel that these lawmakers will give up. It's going to be a battle that my dad has fought for 38 years. He will retire soon, and it appears that it's going to be a battle that I'm going to have to fight my whole career. Their attacks on reproductive rights are attacks on our human rights. My rights. Your rights. Everybody's rights. We've got to put a stop to this. We've got to take back what's ours. We've got to draw the line. And we are. Every day. Every day. Every day. The Center for Reproductive Rights fights for women worldwide. We're in the courts shutting down government's attacks on women and their doctors. We're at the United Nations leading the charge to expand the rights of women around the globe. And to seek justice for women who have suffered because their rights were denied. We are fighting to make sure that all pregnant women get the care that they need. To keep contraception affordable and accessible to all. To protect everyone's right to make our own decisions about our reproductive health and future. To keep religion out of the debate about reproductive rights. 
and to keep politicians out of our doctors' offices and out of our private lives. We're fighting for fundamental human rights. My rights. My rights. My rights. Our rights. Everybody's rights. But we can't do it alone. We need you to stand with us. We need to stand together. We need to raise our voices and say it loud. I am pro-woman. I am pro-family. I am pro-choice. I am pro-freedom. I am pro-keeping politicians the hell out of my business. I am pro-dignity. I am pro-equality. I am pro-rights. Women's rights. Reproductive rights. Human rights. Join us. Join us. Join us. Go to drawtheline.org and sign the Bill of Reproductive Rights for the U.S. Visit reproductiverights.org to take action for women worldwide. Together, we can change the world for millions. And reclaim the fundamental human rights of women everywhere. <laughs>